as we started to learn more about Fallout 76. People have been analysing the map and its locations. By doing this, people have come up with theories on what they think will feature in the game and what some story details could be. Perhaps the most intriguing is the Greenbrier Hotel. Now, to those of you who don't know, you may think, a hotel? Seems pretty innocent. It may seem that way, but underneath there is a bunker. In the late 1950s, the US government approached the Greenbrier Hotel for assistance in creating a secret emergency relocation centre to house Congress in the aftermath of a nuclear holocaust. The reason this makes it interesting to me and to many other people is that this bunker can be referred to as one of the spots that the Enclave would use in the event of a nuclear attack from the Chinese government. Now I know this game's not supposed to feature NPCs that are human at launch, but hear me out because I have a few reasons why the Enclave could still be present. As we've seen throughout the franchise, there's been many ways that people have preserved themselves during the war, methods ranging to expensive life support systems like Mr. House, and even John Caleb Brabberton, the founder of Nuka-Cola, who could be found under the streets of Nuka World with his head preserved in a jar. There are many ways that the Enclave could have preserved themselves, but I'm going to outline three of the most possible and plausible options there is. So first of all, I think one of the most plausible options is that the Enclave preserved themselves in robots such as Robobrains and kept their profiles going through AI. Now this might sound familiar because it's been seen in the franchise before. In the Far Harbor DLC, we could find Vault 118, and this vault could potentially share a lot of parallels with the Greenbrier Hotel vault. In fact, Vault 118 was similarly built under a hotel, designed to house the most poor and the most rich in society at the time. The inhabitants of that vault also had their brains transferred into robots, so they could last longer. Now I could see this as something that would be happening with the Enclave, because they would want to preserve themselves for longer life, so that they could achieve their goal of rebuilding the nation. Pairing that with the fact that Bethesda said that robots will be one of the primary quest givers in Fallout 76, it doesn't seem like that much of a far-fetched theory. Now up next is the possibility I would like to see most in this game, and it's my favourite theory that I've come up with so far. As evidenced in Fallout 2 and 3, the Enclave have never been shy of experimenting with FEV. In Fallout 2 they excavated the ruins of the Mariposa military base to find FEV samples. This research and tampering is what led to Frank Horrigan's mutated form. Similarly, mutant test subjects can be found in Raven Rock in Fallout 3, being tested on by Enclave scientists. What I'm trying to say is the main premise of this theory is the Enclave could be tampering and using FEV to experiment in the Greenbrier Hotel vault, and then it could have escalated to a point where it was out of their control, leading to accidental mutations. Hence why Bethesda said there would be no human NPCs in this game, but there could be mutant Enclave scientists and soldiers. In my last video I said that there couldn't be smart mutants in West Virginia as the Master's Army hadn't traversed the country at that point. The fact that the Enclave are experimenting with FEV and their low radiation count could mean that they become mutants who possess full morality and awareness of their situation, aware of their past as a human. Now the third and final theory I have that could pose the Enclave as a feature in West Virginia is that they are frozen in cryostasis, similar to in Mothership Zeta and in Fallout 4's beginning. Now as we know in the Fallout franchise, cryostasis is fully functional and fully discovered. Now it makes sense that the Enclave, the remnants of the pre-war government, would take full advantage of this technology to preserve themselves for years to come to avoid the direct aftermath of the war by placing themselves in cryostasis for 20 to 25 years after the Great War occurred. As I said, the Enclave would be avoiding the direct aftermath of the bombs. After this, they can go back to orchestrating and executing the plan to bring America back to its former glory before the war. You may argue that this theory could clash with the fact that there's no human NPCs at the launch of Fallout 76. However, as I mentioned in my last video, the ending of the Enclave's cryostasis could be triggered by community events present in the game. For example, if a certain number of players get past a certain point in the story, it could trigger this event and it could be a new DLC factor, where the Enclave come out of stasis and become a major player in the West Virginia landscape. So yeah guys, that's going to wrap up for today's video. I hope you uh, thought my theories were quite valid. As I said, the second and third theory are my favourites, you know, in comparison to the first one, which is also plausible, but I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments. I'd love you to like, comment and subscribe. It would be great. It will really help me out. So thank you very much and goodbye.